This is a video presentation about my lesson on the Athenian Acropolis. The main subject is a religious monument plateau that dates to the years 440 to 437 BCE. The students will look at the previous advancements in Greek sculpture that directly contributed to the architectural advancements of the Acropolis and the variety of buildings that have turned it into a site of mass tourism, respect, and reverence. The buildings that my students will look at and study include the Parthenon, the Erechtheion, the Temple of Athena Nike, and the Propylia. By looking at the different methods, advancements, and sculptural successes, the students will be able to get a taste for what life was like for the Athenian people and what was the most important to them in their culture. There are a few objectives that I would like my students to walk away with. These are specific lessons and takeaways that I think the students should internalize for future learning and comprehension. I believe that this lesson will help my students not only understand the Acropolis itself, but also give context for all of the previous and future artwork they will encounter. This is the first objective. The Parthenon is a very important religious monument that has so many architectural advancements it is hard to decide where to begin. However, the sculptural program as designed by Phidias reflects both the political and religious importance of the building. If the students are able to identify and recognize the different types of sculptures and stories that go along with them, they can begin to understand the impact that Greek culture has had and how it has shaped our society today. The second objective explores the Doric and Ionic temples and emphasizes the aspects that affected the artwork and buildings of future cultures to come. The students will learn about what features distinguish each type and how their functions differ both spatially and artistically. Understanding what characterizes these concepts will aid the students in learning and understanding about art from all over the world. The third objective is about this momentous, innovative, and extraordinarily significant location for both the ancient Athenians and other cultures that follow. Being able to use the vocabulary terms will increase retention as these concepts will be applied later with further studying of the development of art. This lesson about the Acropolis will take place online and through the use of videos, online lectures and discussions, project submissions, and varying levels of test assessment. The various activities that will occur are shown here. To summarize, the students will get a taste for Greek culture by listening to Greek music and researching cultural norms. Another activity will consist of a walking tour of each student's town while on the lookout for Greek temple features and concluding with drawing, labeling, and coloring sheets to distinguish these features. Last but not least, the students will watch and react to a video about excavating marble and then create a PowerPoint presentation by researching a specific innovative architectural concept or feature. The students will also participate in a few discussion questions which have been summarized here. These discussions will help to serve as a place to explore various schools of thought and differing opinions about concepts. This will aid the barrier of a lack of face-to-face -face that exists in online classes. The students will be expected to actively participate in these discussion posts by making a primary post themselves and following up with constructive commentary on their peers' posts. Students will be required to watch videos and corresponding lectures that explain various concepts to them. It is important for the students to actively listen by taking notes and writing down questions or thoughts. This is my lesson on the architectural advancements of the Acropolis as it currently exists, and I intend to further develop and execute it with more research and planning. It can be difficult to organize an online class while still achieving the best comprehension and experience that a student would have in a regular classroom. However, the possibility of an online platform gives way to an even more opportunity and experiences for both the instructor and the students. Thank you for watching.